Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Link to the Past. Now, today, we are going to finish up the whole entire game, once and for all, and we're going to finish Ganon's Tower, so let's get it started. Oh man, I'm so excited, like, finally this game is over, because I found out how to get Zelda Classic to work, hopefully to get 2.5 working too as well, um, but 210? Oh yeah, I know how to get the work. So, that's a great thing. And first off, we're going to be some wizard robes. Just run th right through these guys. Like, suckers are nothing, really, compared to my level 4 sword. Eat this, sucker! Haha. Uh -huh. Alright. Now, let's see what we're going to do here. Actually, I think we're going to use the fire rod. Uh, oh, stupid. Alright, let's see. Oh, yeah. Um, we're gonna, I think there's a magic container down here. Uh, just a little one. Lit. Come on. Light. Stop! Light. Light. Now, don't close. Please don't. Thank you! Oh, great. That's nice. Eyes. Why did you have to come in conclusion eyes? Like, you guys are scary. Shoot lasers at me? Like, man, I'm trying to live! My mirror shield can't do everything! Ugh. Alright, so we're gonna. Now, like these four. No, these candle torches. If I can get that last one. Alright, cool! And I got it just before the four um, knocked me down there. No. There we go. And a bad spot to set it to. Oh, okay. That works, too. Why is it lagging? Stop lagging. Alright. Cool, we got bombs. I don't know if we're gonna use bombs for it, but... Oh, okay. Never mind. Stand corrected. But why do we need so much bombs for just probably that wall, then? Ouch. Alright, get down there. There we go. Hey, this reminds me of Hyrule Castle. You're, you're gonna disappear. There you go. I was gonna say if it went through the wall, or the tiles, I was gonna be very, very highly upset. Alright, use magic powder on you, turn you into a fairy, thank you. you can use the health. More magic. Hit the switch, get another piece of heart. Whoa, well, a heart. And I got hit by that thingy. And I got hit by that thingy again! Stop hitting me! Oh, great, we got Moldworm now. Ugh. Wow, he's already dead! And I got knocked down a hole! And I'm landing on spikes! That How awesome can this get? This is like ten times more intense than I don't know. And we got wizard robes! <laughs> Stupid wizard robes. I hate you guys. I'll, I want to see if a few of you will drop some hearts. Drop some hearts. There we go. Come on, two more. Come on, my gold sword can take this all day. There we go. Aww. You wanted to be that mean, did you? Uh, there's nothing else anyway. Go in this direction. Alright. Come on, give me a, a heart. Give me a heart, please. 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 Come on. Come on. Drop one. Thank you. That's all I asked. Alright, round two with this thing. We're just gonna spin attack him. Alright. Come on. Die. 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 You beams won't do nothing? Oh, you stupid. Jerk. You know what? Screw this. Okay, let's try that once again for the third time. Ugh, I hate you for real now. You're worse than, than the Tower of Hera when I had the 
level 1 sword that took 10 times more longer than my actual sword. Maybe it's just this platform that is in a, set up in an awkward position. Oh, about time I got you. Yeah, take it! Alright, we got a treasure chest that contains 20 rupees. Oh boy, what are we gonna use that for? Probably for later, I don't know. But probably won't need it anytime soon or spending it. Oh boy, this room full of spikes and other crap. Stuff so like that version to other levels. Oh great, come on, stop it! Get me off the spikes! Get, go away! Alright, come on, let's go. We're almost there. Oh boy, this room looks fancy. Oh, the boss room. What floor is this? The seventh floor? Oh, whoa. We climbed up that tower that fast? It's cool with me because we're missing the compass. Now it's time to kick your butt. Maga Ham, wherever how you say that name. Oh, and you got clones too. Oh, great. You can stop your Kamehameha's at once. Like, I'm not that powerful. I can't even get anywhere with this thing. There we go. One hit. Uh oh. It, you're not gonna. You're not gonna win! You're doing the same technique! Now, if I would've... I thought the sword was unbeatable to anything. Uh, oh well. Guess not. Uh huh, my mirror shield blocked your stupid fireballs, whatever you wanna call it. Ooh, take it! You should've moved out the way when your clones moved! Come on! Yeah! You ain't gonna beat me! Look at me! I'm maxed out! Ooh! Take it! Take it! Take it! Take it! Oh, great. We got this pig right here, and he turned into a bat. So I'm guessing this is the end of the game, or we fight the bat. Okay, let's see what happens. This is where we started. Oh, okay. So, do we... Okay. There's one thing we're gonna do before facing him. We're gonna get some magic! I'm telling you right now, the... Oh, I didn't see that part coming. The best part would be to do if you face him is just get one jar of blue magic. You should be fine. So, it won't be that big much of a deal. So, just get a jar of blue magic. It should cost like 150 rupees. And then you'll be okay. So, let's go! Thank you. Also, there's a glitch, too. Well, probably I'll show that later. After a game or something. I'll put it in my miscellaneous videos. Oh, I stand corrected. It's 160 rupees. Okay. Yes, we need this medicine. Alright, and there's one more thing we want to do. We're going to defeat this kid right here. Or not get the magic that we wanted. And stop lagging all over the place. Would you give us some magic, please? I'm not trying to go in the battle with no magic or half the... Whatever you want to call that half a meter. Come on! Oh my gosh. Would you just give me some magic? That, it ain't that hard to ask. Would you give me magic, please? Be a good friend. You guys are some punks, man. I'm too lazy to spend 60 rupees on some magic. And I'm not going to depend my luck on it, because I don't want to use that blue jar. I want to see if I can make it through the battle without the blue jar. 
come on! Uh, you know what? If this one doesn't drop magic, I give up. Ah, uh, give me that. Screw them. Alright. Let's go back to the dark world and defeat Ganon in his pig form or bat form. Whatever you want to call it. He's Ganon. Yeah, it never changed ever since the first two series, so why not face him again in the third series in the Super Nintendo version? Yeah. That shows his segment. Huh, I wonder what that cave is. Okay. I'll probably show that cave in some other video too. Okay, let's go get him. And, by the way, get a first hit on him. Get it! Yeah! Of course we got him twice. But I guess it was you inside that body the whole time. We revealed your two form. We're on the second floor, what? Oh, okay. Let's just beat him. Just beat him up with your sword. And he will change forms very quickly. Now, just to let you know, if you use the Master Sword, um, as in the Level 2 Sword, I should say, really, if you can understand that better, you won't be able to just hit him like this, you gotta keep using Spin Attacks, and if you somehow manage to get through the game with the White Sword, or the Hero Sword, um, you're not going to get any hits on him at all, either, I don't believe so. Or I don't think so with the Spin Attack, either. So, if you had the level 3 sword or the level 4 sword, you're good. So, that's all I gotta say. You could just freestyle hit him all day. Now, would you stop teleporting over the place? I know you're scared of my sword, but hey. Jeez, you don't have to run like a little sissy. Would you be still? Be still! Be still! So I can hit you! Oh, I totally missed that one. Hmm. Sure I can. And Grande? Garde? Did you just speak Spanish? When did this recall of Zelda speaking Spanish? Well, well, excuse me. Okay. Um, all you have to do is light up the torches, and then, once they light, hit them. Whatever you can do, and just hurry up and get as much shots as you can with the Silver Arrow before the torches go out. So, just hit him, like that. And we're gonna get him again. Yeah! Oh! Punk. Stupid fire bat. Uh, you jerk! Don't knock me down there! Yeah. Just stay still! Stay! Go! Oh, I totally shot that in the wrong direction. Hey, go away! I hate you for real. Alright, let's... Actually, we're just gonna... Light, light... Yeah! Got that in. Ooh, got you. It, be still, be still. Be still. Got you. Ooh, you dead! Take this sword! I won! You won! Note on information real fast. Fall down the hole, you will have to face him again. So, just to let you know. Oh my gosh, the Triforce of Courage and Power. You're the essence of Triforce. Okay. Okay.
Okay. All right. Now, of course I destroy Ganon. How can shards talk to me? That's scary. Is there like some kind of hidden god in this game or something? I don't know. I will touch it! Now come here! Let me touch it! Yeah! Good job, Link. You touched the Triforce. The Return of the King. You went missing the whole entire game, like, just about. Like, it's not even funny, man. Look who came back alive. I never met you, I don't think so, but she shows you the Master Sword and the Pendants in the beginning of the game, so I believe so if you talk to her. You know, stupid old woman saying I was a person that needed to be caught. Hey, there's a treasure thief. Mountain Tower? The oh, bully makes a friend. Hey, he returned from the Dark World. Your uncle recovers. He's not dead after all. That's tight. I like that. This big old Zura. Thank you for giving my blue potion, even though I didn't need that at all. But it was just a backup emergency. You're cutting down another tree? Oh, you decided to come back! My look-alike twin. Venus. And the doors. Smithery. The bug catching kid. Kakariko Town. That was Kakariko Village! Uh, that's probably not for the time version. The lost old man. He didn't look so lost. How do you get all up here by yourself with all those fallen rocks without taking the hit? He must have some cool swift moves or something. Huh, you're not so bad. And the master sword sleeps again. And you walk home with the red tunic. Or I should say the golden sword sleeps again. This game was so awesome. This was actually my first Zelda game I actually played too, to be honest with you. And it was the, like one of my favorite games of all times, and it never dies. That's why I got it for the Game Boy Advance, and also I played part of Four Swords until the anniversary came out. But this game, ah, uh, you can never get tired of it. I just never had time to record it because I was with school and everything, so. Other than that, I had time to show it today because I have a day off. And you finally seen the last of it. The reason why I extended those last two videos probably because I wanted to get the game over with. 
and I wanted to start on Zelda Classic since I found out I can get it working. Like, oh my gosh, like, I'm so excited. It's 210. Hopefully to get 2.5 working. But other than that, this game is a definitely recommendation if you want to play a Zelda game of a good legend. It's normal, it's classic, you can't, you, the legend never dies in this game. It's so much, it's so colorful and there's lots to do, lots of upgrades to find. And in this game, you could just play it over and over again. I played this game like eight, 12 times. I can't remember exactly, but I know I played this game pretty much a lot because I love this game. Like, I never get tired of it, especially the Super Nintendo version. I bought it off the Virtual Console Market on the Wii and beat it on there too. So I got all the hard pieces on there too as well. I might show a clip of it, of me playing a little bit on the Wii, but it's my favorite game. I can't, oh man, I just can never get tired of it. I'm glad somebody introduced me to Zelda when I was small because I would have never known Zelda. Other than that, um, I'll give this game a 10 out of 10 because, well, it's great. The storyline is great. The dungeons are awesome. There's lots to do. It's a big overworld. It's colorful. Two worlds combined in two whole big gigantic maps. And there's lots of upgrades, lots of hints, advice. I'm just saying, this, this game is just all time great. Even the Ocarina of Time is great, but I still admire this a lot more than Ocarina of Time. It's because it's it's just a classic. It's a nice 2D platform game. But I might record Ocarina of Time as well sometime later on this year. Hopefully, if I get done with that Zelda Classic game, maybe. But really, I like to do the Oracle of Ages, too, so that's a big thing right there. Um, yeah, that's it, really. So, here's all the depths if I encountered any. Castle Dungeon, Castle Hyrule, East Palace, Desert Palace, Mountain Tower, Level 1, Dark Palace, Level 2, Swamp Palace, 3, Skull Woods, Level 4, Beast Town, Level 5, Ice Palace, Level 6, Misery Mire, Level 7, Turtles Rock, and Level 8, Ganon's Tower. Huh, we didn't die anywhere. We didn't die. Total gains played, zero. We didn't die. You could thank the fairies. That's why you should carry fairies all the time. Get a bottle? Get fairies, and it'll look like this. Oh man, that's great. Okay, go back to the title screen or something. Uh, this is it. Oh, just like the old times. Stay stuck at that screen until somebody resets the game. Okay, I'm gonna save state it here. Alright, that's the end of Link to the Past. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in Zelda Classic or either Zelda or Gold Ages. See you then.